as we have seen the development life cycle of uh, spark streaming job and also deployment life cycle along with uh, the data structure d stream and apis uh, for the data structure now let us create another problem statement uh, which is uh, a bit more realistic and the problem statement is to get department wise traffic every 30 seconds and for this we'll be using the log generating simulator which is nothing but gen underscore logs which will uh, uh, log uh, which will simulate um, uh, the visitors visiting the website and navigating through the website <clears throat> so let me connect to the lab and explain um, first about the data set and then we'll try to interpret the problem statement of getting uh, streaming uh, let me open up getting department wise traffic every 30 seconds okay so here i i am connecting to the lab and as you guys know there is a application called gen underscore lags uh, logs which will keep on uh, and um, publishing the log messages to a dot log file um, if you have your own environment uh, cloudera uh, already comes with that on others you need to set up and i have explained earlier how to set up those things so you can go back and check that that being said now let me uh, show you where the log file is the log file is in this location slash opt slash gen underscore logs logs and then it has a file called access dot log and this file will be key, uh, updated by by a tool called gen underscore logs and we can validate by using tail underscore logs dot sh if the screen is refreshing like this that means the messages are published consistently now let me kill it and uh, um uh, and then uh, uh, show you how to start the logs if the screen is not refreshed you just have to say start underscore logs dot sh and it will keep on pulling this log file and uh, publishing messages here okay so using this we will try to uh, capture the messages using uh, spark streaming context and then we will write the code where we'll get the department wise traffic every 30 seconds so if you look at these individual individual messages if you try to understand the structure of a feature of this message so this message starts here and ends here okay and uh, you can see to begin with it is giving something ip address so it is actually simulating as if someone is visiting the website from that ip address and the information is logged into log file and then i don't know what these are about and then there is time stamp at at what time that the visitor actually visited the website and here comes the api call to render the web page he he is trying to navigate okay so it is a get call so get slash departments is like it will list all the departments and also on top of uh, this uh, get call with department send point there is a uh, get get call with product end point again department send point and then add to cart end point and then department end point so he, this is departments and this is department and if you look at the department end point it starts with slash department and then it gives the department name and then categories in that department okay so here as i'm interested in uh, getting uh, dep department wise traffic every 30 seconds i just have to get these messages which have slash department end point and then uh, pass this string and using that i have to perform the word count program so this is about the problem statement i have to read the each and every message filter out uh, those things which are not uh, which do not belong to department end point if they belong to department end point then we have to get the department details using which we can perform the word count now if i try to map it to the apis here i am going to the api documentation 
so first we need to filter to get the messages with uh, department and point then we have to use map to extract the department name and create a tuple along with a one so that those ones can be added for each department and get the department wise count which can be done by using reduce by key so using filter first and then map and then reduce by key we should be able to get the department wise count every 30 seconds and also if you look at the problem statement it also says the output should be returned to hdfs and to write the output to hdfs you have to go to output operations and you can see there is a save as text file save as object files save as hadoop files etc and uh, uh, if you look at the syntax of it it takes the prefix of the path so what does that mean is when we use save as text files whatever path you give it will be used as prefix and then there will be a unique value appended to it uh, and using that prefix concatenated with, with that unique value uh, a new directory will be created every 30 seconds and the files which will have the department wise count will be copied to the uh, to that location okay so we need to start with filter then map then reduce by key then we have to use save as text files so to save the output to um, uh, to the file system and we will do that as part of the next topic